Hello, creators, and welcome to episode number eight. In this episode, we'll create our first Cubelets Blockly program, then program a flashlight Cubelet. This episode will pick up at the end of episode number seven. We'll start by loading a previously created program. From the Blockly window, we have our default program, and you can see that I've already paired with a robot construction. This robot is very simple, with only a battery Cubelet, flashlight Cubelet, and Bluetooth hat. First, we need to load the program we created in episode number seven. So I'll click the load icon. You'll likely see your program in the folder when the window opens, but if not, navigate to the folder where you saved your program. Find the file. In this case, we named it flashlight hello world. Then click open. Now, make sure the flashlight hello world is the current tab you're working on. You can close the other tabs if this helps you focus. From here, we are going to build a very simple program that will turn the flashlight on to its full brightness and keep it there. So we use the Blockly menu on the left to select blocks and drag them together to create a program. The next thing I want to point out are the two loops that are part of every Cubelet's Blockly program, the setup do and forever do loops. The setup do loop is an area for code that runs only once at power on for the Cubelet. The forever do loop runs over and over while the block is powered on. This is where most program elements will go as you learn to create your own programs. So we're going to put our blocks in the forever do block. We'll start by grabbing our first block from the menu. Remember, we want to create a program that turns the flashlight on at full brightness. So we are going to start with the set actuator value two block inside of the acting submenu. Next, I want to point out something important to any new users to Blockly. Blockly blocks are shaped like puzzle pieces. Pieces that fit together generally work to form a program, while pieces that don't fit together don't form a program. So as we build, we need to make sure that our pieces are fitting together. See how as I drag the set actuator value two block close to the forever do block, a little highlight appears that indicates that this block will snap into place and fit. So now we have a program that says forever set the actuator value to blank. But what does this mean? Actuator is the part of a machine responsible for doing something. It's basically just a fancy word for a part that does stuff. In this case, it applies to the flashlight's LED. So, said in plain English, or pseudocode, this program is saying set the flashlight brightness to blank. Now we need to define what the blank is. But how do we do this? If you remember back to episode three of Create with Cubelets, we discussed the block values that Cubelets use to determine what they should do. Cubelets have a range of possible block values. Zero is the lowest block value and 255 is the highest block value. If we set the actuator to a high value, that means that it's doing something at the top of its range of possible actions. Setting the actuator value to 255 for a flashlight cubelet is the same as saying set the brightness of the flashlight to the maximum level. So we need to find a way to complete this puzzle using the number 255. For that, we will go back to the block menu and go down to the numbers section. Now I don't see a 255 here, but we can use this first block to enter any number we need to. Drag this number block into place, then click the window on the zero. This will allow you to edit the number. Type in 255, then hit enter. Now we have a program that says set the actuator value to 255. So what does this mean in pseudocode or plain English? Your code roughly translates to something like set the flashlight brightness to full brightness. Time to program your cubelet. If you haven't already, select the flashlight from the block map. Then click the program selected cubelet button. Wait for this process to complete and if everything worked right, you should see your flashlight turn on at full brightness. Congratulations on your first Cubelets Blockly program. You did it. Just like personality swap, Blockly programs are persistent. 
Think of them as personalities you code on your own. A cubelet will keep your new personality until it is changed to another. Even if I take my cubelet off this construction and place it on another one, it will continue to shine brightly regardless of what the sense cubelets are telling it to do. When you're ready to continue, let's reset the flashlight to the default program. Simply select the flashlight in the block map, then click Restore Default Program. This starts the reprogramming process, and that concludes this episode of Create with Cubelets. Look out for the next episode as we continue to explore Cubelets Blockly and some of the unique Cubelets code blocks inside. Until next time, have fun creating with Cubelets. <laughs>